phone. Go ahead and take my iPhone out of there. It won't really probably hold anything much bigger than an iPhone. All right, so set that on the table. Now turn it around. And we're going to have Daniel just start unpacking it. As you can see, it's got a ton of pockets. There's two on each, each side. First, he's going to pull out the lens for my Nikon 1 camera. That bottom zipper there, it's designed really for anything, but it can also fit a, a bottle. Uh, there's nothing in there because we don't have a water bottle of that size and shape. But if you get one of those big metal ones with the smaller uh, top part, it, it'll fit. There's the charger for our MacBook Pro. There is our Nikon 1 <laughs> camera, which is a small point and shoot, but it does have a, a bigger lens than a normal point and shoot. And it fits down in that pocket nicely. Here on the front, sort of the smaller accessory pocket. It's got our magic mouse, pens. You don't have to take all those pens out. Let's just flip that. That's got our iTwin drive. There we go. Got a flash drive in there. I mean, a, a USB hard drive rather in there. Unzip that. Has some accessories for charging things and. Uh, earbuds, various stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. Pull that flap down again so we can see those pin compartments. Now down in there, there actually is space. You could fit more down in the bottom of that pocket if you wanted to uh, fit it loosely. So we could actually put more stuff in there. All right, let's go to the next pocket. This is the pocket where you put a tablet. We've got, uh, it fits more than that. Notice we've got a keyboard in there iPad mini, the maxi iPad, <laughs> that's sort of a joke, and charging three uh, AC adapter plus two USB things. All right, so that shows you what's in there. Here it's got this little pocket up here. We put our some of our charging cables, and there is our Verizon jetpack which is great. Don't even have to take that thing out. You got Wi-Fi on the go. Here's the largest main compartment. And notice <laughs> we put a Kindle in there, our uh, bamboo pad, art pad, charging brick for this uh, big old 15 inch Toshiba that we're reviewing. Now normally you wouldn't put a laptop in there, but we just want to show you how big that compartment is. You can put books or a change of clothes. Here at the top, it's got a crush-proof uh, compartment. That's the charger for our camera. A few other accessories, flash drive, covers for lenses for the camera. And then you get the main compartment here. Slide that out. And there is our MacBook Pro. So look at all the junk that we've packed in here, and you know what? I'd say we probably could have packed another third, maybe even twice as much stuff in this thing. That's pretty impressive, and yet it's still fairly small. Um, with this much stuff on it, it's not too comfortable, but with a normal amount of gear in there, I found it to be pretty comfortable after just a few days of use. I could carry it on my back if I needed to for an hour or so without having to take it off. Um, it, it passes the one shoulder test, which is kind of the way I carry a backpack. I like it a lot. It's $150 from Ogeo. Uh, it's a really great backpack. A little bit heavy, 3.5 pounds all by itself. But you're going to need that much in order to carry it. It's lots of padding, lots of uh, protection. You're not going to have to worry about your computer getting broken inside this thing. In fact, it fell off of the back of the tailgate of our pilot while taking a trip and the computer still works fine. This has been Kevin Purcell for GottaBeMobile.com with the Ogio, O-G-I-O, -O, Renegade RSS 17. And with the thanks of my son Daniel, this is our review. Thanks for watching.